It's crunch time here on the jump. If you knew and loved that era of Warriors basketball, you are not alone. The team unveiled their Oakland Forever jerseys, and Matt is a member of the We Believe Warriors, who of course played in Oakland. Do you like this homage to your group? I love it. I love it. Uh, one thing I, I realized when I got a chance to go back for that 17 championship run is there's still so much love for that team there, mm -hmm. not only by the city, but by current players. You know, Steph, KD, Clay, Draymond, they were all with the We Believe movement. So I think it's a great move and a great honor because they lost a tremendous fan base moving from, although it's not far, that Oakland crowd is going to be a lot different than the new crowd at that, that San Francisco stadium. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. Your group did not win a title, and yet... <laughs> we won one series. Right? But we captured the hearts of... Just as of popular the as the team that won three right. rings. And including from, the, as you say, the team that won three rings feels that way, too. This way. This video is amazing. Pacers forward Alizé Johnson surprising his family by buying them a new house. He posted the video to his Instagram account. Jackie, how would you react if you were surprised with a new house by one of your kids? I would say, did you rob my bank account? <laughs> <laughs> my kids can't afford to buy me a house. But I would certainly appreciate the sentiment. What I love about this is Elise hasn't bought a house for himself yet. That's he bought awesome. it for his mom first. God bless him. Good Aww. for you. I mean, I think that's a, the dream of players. You know, you always want to take care of your family, your mom in particular. Uh, I lost my mom too soon before right. I was able to actually do that. You know, I got my dad a car, but uh, tremendous show of respect. I mean, mom's brought us into this world, so I couldn't be happier for him and his mom. And the fact that he got his mom a house before himself, I think is a tremendous gesture. The amount of sacrifice that NBA parents right. make to get their kids to that point is a story I don't think we tell enough, frankly. And I love seeing this. It's I'm True. a little emotional, just not going to lie. Uh, let's talk about the Rockets. They officially introduced Steven Silas as head coach today. Congratulations to him. A 22-year run as an NBA assistant. I said the other day he is as qualified to be a first-time head coach as it is possible to be. Woj and Tim McMahon also on John Lucas. Here's Silas on changes to the office. For me to come in and make wholesale changes, that doesn't make sense to me. What I will do is try to make it a little bit easier on those guys, put in a few little actions that'll um, make the defense have to make decisions and uh, make them a little bit harder to guard, uh, be a little bit more versatile on the offensive end, and, and uh, again, let those guys play to their strengths. Getting defenses on the move early in possessions and keeping them on the move, that sort of thing, uh, not so much kind of stand around ISO type stuff, even though there will be that and there will be times for that because that's what they do well. So Matt, do you like hearing that? What do you think of the match of Steven Silas and James Harden in Houston? Um, it's it yet to be determined, um, but I, I can piggyback off of what you said. I mean, he's definitely qualified. He's paid his dues. His dad was a longtime coach. I had an opportunity to play for him uh, with the We Believe team. He was an assistant coach and he's a very mild mannered person by nature. Um, but, but I say all that to say sometimes as an assistant coach, you kind of have to play your role as players do. I think he'll be able to show a little bit more of his personality and, and, and his, uh, he's going to have to definitely going to have to be an authoritative figure, uh, so to speak with this situation, because I, I feel like that's kind of what that team may need. Not much, but he's definitely going to have to kind of come out of his quiet demeanor, mm -hmm. um, to coach this team. Yeah. Right. You know, honestly, this kind of bugs me, Rachel, a little bit mm. that we're asking about this. And I, and I know why we are, because others were talking about that Harden had someone else in mind that he may have wanted to be the head coach. Let's give Steven Silas a chance. He's, he didn't just come down and say, hey, my dad's Paul Silas. Can you hire me? This guy went through the ranks. Uh -huh. He was an advanced scout. I had front office people tell me how hard he worked. He started at the bottom, worked his way up. Had great relationships with Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Kemba Walker, all scoring players in the NBA. He knows how to work with superstars. Let's give James Harden and Steven Silas a chance to have a great relationship before we all start wondering if it's going to work. Steven Silas deserves better than yeah, that, absolutely. in my opinion. Well, I mean, look, again, we, we've been laying out his qualifications on this show all week. I, I think that there's no question right. that he is prepared for this job. The question is, what is he going to do to solve a difficult puzzle? I mean, you have... Mike D'Antoni, incredibly respected coach, who obviously didn't solve it to the degree mm -hmm. that they needed to. So I, I think there's just a lot of questions about what this very qualified 
head coach is now going to do next. I, I think sometimes you just need to change the scenery and a new voice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, with all due respect to mm -hmm. Dan Tony, his, his voice was worn out in that locker room. Hopefully this fresh voice will bring new energy to this team because they're very talented, as, as we all know. Yep, and as I mentioned briefly, um, Adrian Wojnarowski and Tim McMahon reporting that John Lucas will stay with that staff. I know that is an important piece, not only to James Harden, but to several of the guys there and someone, obviously, who is an asset in Houston. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.